Good afternoon, everyone. Western Illinois Athletics welcomes you to this special day. We appreciate everyone taking time out of their day to help Leatherneck Athletics and welcoming Billy Wright as a 20th head coach in our men's basketball program history. As we get started, I would like to first introduce and welcome to the podium Western Illinois University President, Dr. Jack Thomas. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for attending this press conference. As the 11th President of Western Illinois University, I can truly say that these are exciting times at this great university. I want to express my appreciation to Athletic Director Tommy Bell and Intercollegiate Athletic Administration for selecting an outstanding candidate to coach and continue to mold the current Leatherneck men's basketball team here at Western Illinois University. I appreciate the industrious spirit of the athletic leadership team and all of their hard work through such a tedious process. I want to especially thank Dr. Gary Biller, the Vice President for Student Services, and Mr. Tommy Bell, Director of Athletics, for leading the charge and for making sure that our university has selected the right person to become our next head men's basketball coach, Coach Billy Wright. Coach Wright, I want to welcome you and your wife, Monica, and your newborn son, William Wright III, better known as Trey, back to Western Illinois University and the city of Macomb. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> As many of you know, basketball is one of our athletic signature programs, and we have found a coach who will help us further showcase our basketball program. More importantly, we have found a coach who will help us to continue to win games and to win championships. Along with the winning basketball games, we want our basketball program and our new head coach to continue to develop young men of character, to care about our student athletes, to help our student athletes graduate with honors, and to help prepare them to be future leaders of tomorrow. I believe that these are just a few of the tenets of successful and winning basketball programs. Make no mistake about it, we want to win and we will win here at Western Illinois University. Thank you so much for being here, and now I will turn the program over to our Director of Athletics, Mr. Tommy Bell. Well, when the um, situation surfaced of a potential vacancy, I was able to draw on an experience from previous situations at other campuses to develop and formulate a plan for Western. I told President Thomas, Thomas that we would move quickly and that it was in the best interest of our student athletes and the university for us to move at a very rapid pace. So first off, I would like to thank Dr. Jack Thomas and Dr. Gary Biller uh, for their leadership in this entire process and they and the rest of the entire university community because they came together on this hire. So I thank everyone from the university and all the work you did in helping us have this day and make it a very rapid appointment. <laughs> I'd like to welcome all of our supporters, our fans, and our friends here today because this is another monumental day in Leatherneck Athletics. So Coach Wright, wife Monica, we're just excited to have you a part of our family. And we're very excited because our 2032 signee, Trey, is already in the house. We, we calculated that with our compliance office today and got it put together. So uh, la the last few days, uh, I've spoken to many well-known basketball coaches in the country for looking for the best fit for Western. Here are a few things of what they had to say about Coach Wright. Coach Wright has a great name throughout college basketball community. He's an outstanding recruiter, and he's a man of great character. Here's the keys to the hire. Known commodity to Leatherneck basketball. Understands the culture of Western Illinois University. 
and has a tremendous recruiting reputation. Please give Western, please help me give a Western warm welcome to our new head men's basketball coach, Mr. Billy Wright. All right, thank you very much, and I um, really appreciate the, uh, the opportunity. It's truly an honor, and it's truly a blessing to be the men's head basketball coach here at Western Illinois University, so thank you. To my wife, Monica, my newborn son, Trey, uh, thank you. Truly epitomizes the word sacrifice. It's not easy picking up and moving from one state to the other, but in this profession, it's what we do. And I want to say thank you, and I love you, and uh, you know, we in this for the long haul. Yeah, get out of round of applause. I never really said that publicly. That's the only time you guys have seen my soft side. <laughs> <laughs> to the administration, President Thomas, Dr. Biller, Tommy, really appreciate the way you handle the process, and uh, thank you for trusting in me to lead and move this program to the next level. To the former players and to the alumni, thank you for all you've done in terms of setting the, tr the tradition and the foundation here at Western Illinois. And I will do my best to uphold that tradition and continue that con tradition moving forward. Ball State University gave me an opportunity to move back home closer to family. Great opportunity. Learned a lot from head coach James Whitford. You know, a lot of what we were doing was pretty successful at the University of Arizona and the University of Dayton. So I learned a lot and how they do it in a different way to teach the game of basketball. So I'm very grateful for that opportunity and learned a lot in such a short time. Last but not least, Coach Mo. You know, he definitely brought me into the game, brought me to the level of college basketball. It's so difficult to play and coach at this level. And it's all about relationships. And, you know, I played for him. I don't know if he would have hired me if we didn't win the championship back in 1996. <laughs> but uh, he hired me. He brought me into college basketball. And six years later, here I am the head coach. So I want to definitely thank him. In 2008, <clears throat> we came here and we set out to build a program. And now it's definitely up to me to continue that and to take it to the next level. My program will remain committed to academic achievement. We will provide a year-round skill development, player development program, and we will compete and win at a very high level. As for my players, I want them to embrace the concept of all in. Our motto will be all in, all in, all in. Either you're in or you're out. And within that comes be the best person you can be, be the best student you can be, be the best basketball player you can be. On the court, I want you to play hard, play smart, play together, all for one, one for all. So that is our motto. And we will rehearse that here in about an hour, so get ready. <laughs> all in. As for goals, again, want to maintain the integrity, want to maintain the culture that we started back in 2008. Want to increase campus and university and community support and I understand I get that, you have to win. And at the same time, we have to be visible. As a staff, we have to be visible as players. And the first step that I took was a Twitter account. So <laughs> I'm a private person, but uh, Kyle Brott told me, he promised me that I would have 1,000 followers by the end of the week. So Kyle, I'm going to hold you to that. Uh, perfect graduation rate, that's another goal. Definitely want the kids to enjoy their experience, but most importantly, earn a degree and win a championship. And last but not least, make it to the NCAA tournament. We're here to win, we're here to enjoy, we're here to get a good degree. Thanks a lot for entrusting me. And now I guess we open it up for questions and answers. We'll open up for questions for our media members, and if you would, please reintroduce yourself to Coach Wright before you ask your question. Billy John Bowman, Camp in the Hawkeye. Um, what was It's been, you know, emotional, um, a lot of wide range of emotions. Uh, we just got settled. Uh, Muncie, Indiana is about 30 minutes north of Indianapolis. 
Uh, my parents, about 45 minutes from Muncie, so we were just getting unpacked, to be quite honest. And uh, so a wide range of emotions. But it's so difficult to uh, get a head coaching job. And when the opportunity presented itself, I wanted to uh, fight for it. And I'm thankful that they're trusting me to lead this program. Billy, Matt Shuffman, Muncie Taylor Way. What was the reaction like when Tommy called you and told you you were his choice? Like I said, just a wide range. Of, I mean, it's almost speechless, because you dream about this day. You have all your little X's and O's. You have everything that you've learned, that I've learned the past 20 years. Um, you know, three or four coaches that I've worked for, even at the high school level, who were state champions. Um, at the uh, collegiate level, obviously for Coach Mullinary, James Whitford. So just picking and choosing and molding my own philosophy. So that's kind of what I immediately started doing. And then, who am I going to call to recruit? Well, I got to keep reminding myself that I can't get out there and play. <laughs> so uh, I learned that the hard time when I first got here in 2008. So I had to constantly tell myself, you know, I like, like to lead by example. And I like to get out there and demonstrate. But uh, every once in a while, my knees to say, no. So for the most part, just again, understanding what it takes to be successful and trusting into my staff to get out there and recruit the right players, the right fit for Western, and then a high demand for the players to be successful on and on the court. Or just the familiarity. I think you hit it on the head. The relationships that I have with, uh, you know, from the administration all the way down to uh, the equipment. And Diane and, and uh, uh, Dee, Dakari, they do a great job for our young men with the equipment. So just all the relationships in the community, um, just having that familiarity with, with the campus and with the community uh, made it a very, very easy decision when I was approached. Was it a no-brainer to go for this job? Absolutely. Um, like I said, the relationships, the familiarity, the, the players that, you know, I've recruited. And as a staff, we collectively recruit. But at the same time, you know, I was the lead recruiter for most of them and, and really just excited to get back here and coach these young men. It fires me up. It's what, it's what I love to do. You have to love to recruit because it's the lifeline of what we do. Um, I'd rather have better players than better plays. So when you get out there and you get the right players, you get the right fit, the plays look that much more effective. It makes me look smarter. So we're ready to hit the ground running. We uh, talked to my, the staff that's here, and we're going to meet here in about an hour and just you know, go to war. Yeah, spoke with Coach Mo throughout his process and, and when he was making his decision to make the move. And um, he just said, hey, you know, it's an opportunity. Here's what I might do. And uh, if, it, if he does take the job, which he did, um, you know, that he would definitely, uh, you know, provide some support and whatever I need as far as advice going into the process. Coach, you mentioned your familiarity with the players. Talk about how much does also have a relationship with the guys on the staff as well? That helps. I think we share a lot of the same philosophy, especially the culture. And obviously, uh, Coach Hogerson was here with me from day one to help build it. And uh, so that, that definitely helps with the transition. Coach, uh, this is a program that's had success in recent years. You were a large part of that. What, what's the biggest task that you guys have to keep in the organization? Go find another Terrell Parks and see Ola Clark. <laughs> <laughs> And that's no disrespect to the end of the other former players, because again, together, everyone achieves more. It's a truly a team effort, but you know, make no mistake about it. When you have good players, you find good players that fit the puzzle, fit your philosophy, you can achieve great things. Will you do a lot of the same things? I mean, will, will there be kind of the same philosophy that, that you have in your ears? Uh, I think, you know, I'm a firm believer that defense wins championships, but at the same time, you know, I'm accustomed to multiple defenses. I think when you have multiple defenses, uh, you're a little bit more difficult to prepare for. And at the same time, you know, it's a, it's a fresh sense of uh, urgency for the kids when they can get up full court and press and create steals and generate interest and, and, and fun for the fans as well, as long as they don't turn the ball over when they get a steal. Thank you for your time.
I know that some media are going to do some one-on-one -on -one time. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We do have some refreshments here, and we do know that some of your friends are going to also want to shake uh, Billy's hand and welcome Monica. So please enjoy the rest of the afternoon here. Thanks again, and go Leathernecks. Thanks a lot, man. I won't be around here next year anymore. You won't? No, 